file in this video we will see sql server 2016 new future dynamic data masking introduction uh, what is dynamic data masking it is to mask the data in the sql server this can be used as overall security strategy so uh, this data masking is not intended as a primary security solution but it provides a way to hide characters in sensitive data uh, example uh, if you see uh, ssn credit card number email address or phone number there are few personal identification details those are highly secured and uh, should not be visible to the end user when they query on the database so for this kind of uh, purposes we can use this dynamic data masking if if you see the example how the masking is here the ssn uh, ssn is a nine, nine nine digit where we will show only uh, last four digits in this way we can mask similarly for email address we can show the first character as well as the last domain uh, dot com so here uh, there are few more details about the data masking uh, this data masking is not truly uh, real time encryption encryption means uh, it is not a transparent data encryption means in the database we are not storing the encrypted data so means uh, in the back end the data still visible here the data masking only hides the data in the query results for the end users means while storing the data in the physical media the data stores as it is that is what data is not masked on the physical media or storage device rather it simply obscures the output or the display of the data based on whether the user is normal or two digit user means uh, we can assign the user then uh, respect to roles to see the masked data and the real time data by default uh, all the users who has read only access uh, will not will be will see the masked data and all the users who have the read and write both accesses can see directly the real time data and data masking hides the sensitive data in the result set or output of a query over designated database field however the data in the database is not changed data masking rules are applied only to the query results many applications can mask sensitive data without having to modify existing queries in addition to using this feature in conjunction with uh, best practices such as encryption security is further enhanced by not allowing users to execute and ad hoc queries as the data can be easily unmasked by using a cache statement there are few disadvantages for this data mask where uh, end users can easily unmask the data with few uh, sql scripts here uh, we have four ways to mask the data in sql server 2016 one is default email partial and random each of these type produces different masked values for different data types we will go through each and every one in detail so here uh, for default the suggested data types for default data masking these are the suggested data types char in char gar char in var char for numeric data types uh, begin bit uh, decimal int money numeric small int small money tiny int float real for date time date time to date date time date time after small date time and time for binary data type use a single byte of ascii value of 0 or var binary an email masking method which exposes the first letter of an email and the constant suffix that is dot com in the form of an email address uh, this is and partial masking uh, masking methods which exposes the first and last letters and adds a custom padding string in the middle prefix and padding string and suffix here the original value is too short to complete the entire mask part of the prefix or suffix will not be exposed here the example is alter column phone number uh, add masked with function uh, partial here the first and zero and the middle uh, padding number and the social security number similarly partial first one is zero and last four and middle in we have five characters and random random masking function for use 
on any numeric type to mask the virginal value with a random value with a specified range. We will go through the example now. So here I created a table and insert statements. I am opening SQL databases. Here the SQL server is the database that I created. It is SQL Server 2016 where we can only see the data masking property and its functionality. So this is the query uh, we prepared that is a member ID as an identity primary key, first name where we are masking it with partial 1 and uh, padding and 0 and last name we are not doing any changes as well as for the phone number we are masked with uh, default and for email we are doing email masking I am creating a table in SQL Server database table is created successfully we don't have any records in this database so uh, here these are the records that we are inserting in this table we are inserting three records now if we query the table you can see the first name as it is whatever we stored similarly last name and phone number and email address now uh, we will go to our next step uh, we will create a user here create user test user I am creating a test user without login and later uh, I am giving a select permission on this membership table to the test user and execute as user test user so I am running this query it created successfully now it is uh, the test user is created you can see in security users test user uh, it has access to the only the membership table I will query now so if you see here uh, for our masking the partial mask uh, first one only the first character will be visible and remaining all characters will be masked and the suffix is zero we are not skipping anything and last name as it is it displayed and phone number we are doing default mask completely it will be masked and the email as the function stating the masking type is the email so the first character will be visible and the domain name will be visible so we can perform this masking on the existing columns as well so here for the last name we do not have any masking we can apply masking on the existing column itself so alter table table name alter column last name add mask with the function partial So this uh, user has only select permission that the user does not have any uh, alter permissions. I am reverting this thing and I will execute uh, this alter statement. So the statement ran successfully. Now with the normal user, uh, with the normal user we can see the complete data as it is now we can also change the masking function as a default again we will see the result uh, again I, I will run this same query here the user is already uh, available so here last name is also masked and we are altering the masking function on the same last name column now we are doing default masking uh, I am reverting these changes and I am executing the statement 
now again uh, giving the permission now see it is a full mask the default mask similar like whatever the masking tab that we give for the phone number now we applied on the last name that's why we are seeing the same result for these two and we can give the permissions to view the unmarked code data so this is the script that we need to use so here the key is uh, unmask to so that same text user and execute as a user and selecting the same thing and dynamic data mask drop so we can drop this uh, mask code key as well so the key is this one I am I'm running this script we are dropping mask, masking on the same last name column let me reverse the permission as the user does not have any other permissions it is changing this server I unmasked it uh, on last name column now I am running the query now you can see the last name values as this as earlier so this is about data masking in SQL Server 2016 there are few uh, pros and cons on this so uh, here the end users are uh, prevented from seeing the sensitive data which can be complained with policy or simply considerable with the best practices and uh, creating a mask on a column does not prevent any updates and other select into or insert into to move the data from mask code column to another table will result in the same mask code data in the target table and backup, backup files are retained mask code data and imported the database with the mask code data will retain the mask code status and modification to application not necessarily to read the data and coming to the disadvantages uh, here the data is completely viable when querying tables are privileged users nothing but non read only users and mask code data can be completely viable when querying from a temp table and masking can be unmasked by using a cache statement and in an ad hoc query masking cannot be used for the following types of uh, columns like encrypted, always encrypted and file stream or column set and it is not useful for protecting data from uh, theft or hacking it simply hides the data when viewing the, so the from our end user application or from the seller statement so these are the disadvantages and advantages about uh, dynamic data masking thank you